with our counter. You can think about it as five fruits of nine, five skip counts of nine, whatever your um, way you make your array, just make it all the same color. That's all I ask, is that it all be the same color. So if you choose red, that's totally fine. If you choose yellow, totally fine. Make it blue. So today we're going to be learning a quicker array strategy. Because I think a lot of you like the arrays, because you can see them. But once we get into these bigger numbers, they get a little time consuming to make. And you'll find that you don't have all the counters you need to make these big arrays. Raise your hand if you're done making a five by nine. Yeah, it's going to take forever. So stop. Stop. Move your counter to the side and do a quick version of a five by nine in your notebook. I'll get you a title in a second, but right now go ahead and start making your five by nine in your notebook. I hear that requires your notebook to be open. All right, we're going to pause. I know you're not done. That's okay. I want to give you the title that we're going to be doing today. We're going to be making what's called a fast array. Because as you start working with these bigger numbers to multiply, it takes forever to make an array. So go ahead and title your paper today, Fast Array. <laughs> The way you make a fast array is you just make the outline of your array. So underneath where you've been drawing your 5 by 9, I, I actually want you to make a text over your beautiful 5 by 9 that you just drew. Because I'm going to show you how to do a fast array. It's going to take you no time. So we have five groups of, so we're going to make our five rows. Go ahead and do this with me on your paper. Here are my five rows ready to go across. So let's go across. And then I'm going to have my nine columns. This already counts as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Done. That's it. That's all my fast array is. It's the outline. So I know how many columns I have and how many rows I have. Because now, if I needed to skip count, I can imagine what's there. I would skip count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Did I need all those counters there to tell me no. how to skip count? No, I can use just the outline. So a fast array is just the outline of an array to make it easier to skip count. Go ahead and add that definition of a fast array after you make your fast array. And I want you to start using it. Because you're at the point now where you don't have to draw every single dot out. You can use your skip counts. So again, a fast array is just an outline of an array so that you can skip count. You don't need every single counter in there. You guys are good skip counters. As long as you have an outline, you can go from there. Let's go ahead and make a fast array for five times seven. Make a fast array for five times seven. Double check that you're not putting too many five columns. Times seven. Five times seven. Just a fast array, not a whole array. If you need help making your fast array, I always start with my first number going down. One, two, three, four, five. This is where some people get into trouble, so pay attention. <laughs> Gabriella. This dot right here counts as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's my fast array. 
Yours might be a little bit different than mine in terms of where your rows are. All right, get your hand ready. Get your hand ready. We're going to skip count. Ready, set, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Five times seven is what? Thirty-five. Did you eat all those other dots? No. No, you didn't eat all those other dots. You are able to skip count. Make a fast array for five times nine. Oh, that again. Uh, well, did we do five times nine? Was that the first one we did? Yes. All right, go ahead and make it for five times eleven. <laughs> go ahead and make it for five times eleven. Five's going down. This is where people get messed up, is they forget that this one counts when you're making your eleven. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, get your hand ready. Oh, before we do that, let me ask you a question. Could I have put my 11 down here? Yes. yes. Why? Raise your hand and tell me why. Today I'm feeling putting my column starting at the bottom. Can I do that? Yes. Kaylin, can I do that? Which says what? What does the commutative property actually tell us? And the product, the product will change. I can turn my head and do my array this way if I really wanted to. <laughs> I can look at it upside down. Is my product going to change? No. 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 All right, let's get our hand ready. We're going to skip count by five again. Hang on, hang on. Have a little patience ready. I don't see very many hands. I see people playing with their counters. We've already lost them once. For someone to be as brilliant as you are, you're making some really poor choices back there. All right, hand ready. And go. Five, Parker, what's one pattern you see? I see, 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 I see,
So when we count by fives, what is going to be in our one place? Parker? So when we count by fives, what's going to always be in the one place? Always five? Five and zero. At the bottom of your paper, I want you to write down that pattern that Parker just came up with. When you are doing your five times tables, the product will either end with a 5, like 15, 25, 35, or it could end in a 0, like 30, 40, 50. Look at in that one place. Any other patterns that you've noticed? Is here? That they have a four space difference. Mm -hmm. Like when you go five, ten, it has a five, uh, it spreads by four. So every fifth number is colored in? Mm -hmm. Yes. It, yes. Yes, but they have One, a four two, three, space. four, fifth number. Yep, every fifth number is colored in. We're going to say it that way because it makes a little more sense because we're doing our five. Okay? I like it, Tajir. Go ahead and add that to the bottom. Every fifth number is colored. Does that make sense with what we're doing? We're skip counting by fives. Does it make sense that every fifth number is colored in? Yeah, no, yeah, I was like, yeah, that's the color, come on. Anything else? Gabriella, what's the pattern you see? I see a pattern of, um, on every column, five, there's still a five in, in each column. In the one place? Yep. Yep, it's just increasing by 10 as it goes down. Yep. No? That we put all the 10 and all from 5. We colored from 5 down to 95, only the 5s. And then we colored in the 10. That's interesting. Because we're going to skip back by 10? No, but we colored in all the 10s. That's pretty interesting. All right, so we're on our multiplication chart that we've been filling in. We just did our five. So let's fill in the fives going vertically. Remember when we read this, put our hand on the first factor and on the second factor, and where they meet is where we're going to be filling in. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. All right. So 5 times 0 is what? 0. 5 times 1? 5. 5 times 2? 10. 5 times 2? 10. 10. So we say 2 over there. Hey, I already have those filled out. That's pretty cool. 5 times 3? 15. 5 times 4? 20. 20. 20. 20. Dylan, I know. That's how I'm feeling, friends. 5 times 5. 25. 5 times 6. 3. 5 times 7. 35. 5 times 8. 40. 5 times 9? 45. 5 times 10? 50. Mm. Can I fill anything else out? Yes. Can I fill anything else out? Excuse me, can I fill anything else out? Yes. 
and it's five times five is twenty five. That was a good observation, Nathan. I like it. Huh. Oh wait, we're way off. Let me get back to where we need to be. So as you're creating your five by your two five by two arrays, I want you to squish them together so that then you make a ten by two array. Okay, your array, friends. One is red and one is yellow. Think about where you're going to need to put your arrays so that it becomes a 10 by 2 array. Because some of you have squished it together, but you did not make a 10 by 2 array. Is that a 10 by 2, Dylan? Okay, Aiden, here's 10 by 2. Okay. Hmm? I did something else. So we're making a five by two array. Yeah. I need it. two arrays, how am I going to arrange them so that it becomes a 10 by 2? A lot of you are doing this and stacking it like this. Is that a 10 by 2 array? No. no. That is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 4 array. I don't want a 5 by 4 array. Look at your array. Count your rows and your columns. Is that a 10 by 2? No, you what made a 5 by 4. You need to move your array right over here. Or vertically. Now do I have a 10 by 2 array? Yes. Yes, because I have two rows. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And yes. Okay, what would you like me to do about that? Okay, when you figure that out, then let me know. Until then, fix your array, please. So we have a 5 by 2 array. What is 5 by 2? You should have that product memorized. Five times two is ten. And then we have another five by two array. What's five times two? Ten. So what do we think a ten by two array is going to be? Twenty. Twenty. What does that remind you of? We've done things like this before. What does it remind you of? That's a really good way to lose your counter. I want you to turn to someone at your table and tell them what this reminds you of. So some patterns that we saw, we saw that it kind of reminded us when we did our twos and our fours. And then Cheyenne plays here, so it kind of reminded them of repeated addition. We're going to go back to our hundreds chart and skip count by 10. The color of those products blue. Go ahead and skip count with me. Oh, let me get started. I guess I'm not even on the right page. All right, skip count with me. I'm going to go ahead and color it green, even though I should be coloring blue because y'all's words turn green when you color it right. All right, what's the first product I can color in? Awesome. Ten. Ten. And keep going. Twenty. Keep going. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. One hundred. Alright, once you have gotten that color, and you see your green numbers, 
what kind of relationship do we see between the fives and the ten? Why are all those products going to end in zero? Yeah. 